Kurt Wagner was born to the shape-shifting mystique in Bavaria. However, he was taken by his father, Azazel, who thrust him into the care of a sorceress and a small circus. But fate had more in store for our blue-skinned hero. Sold to a millionaire circus, Kurt's resilience shone through as he escaped his drugged imprisonment and stood up against his captor. Back in Germany, he faced a madman's rampage and unintentionally became the target of terrified villagers. Eventually, Professor Sir Xavier offered Kurt a chance to join the ranks of the X-Men, and thus began the story of Kurt Wagner, an outcast to hero to an X-Men named Nightcrawlers. Kurt owes his unique physiology to his parents. Mystique and Azazel, a demon-like mutant who claims to be as old as time. Naturally, Nightcrawler is a force to reckon with, a teleporting mutant who has a knack for combat. But how exactly does he teleport? And although the son of a demonic mutant, this guy is a devout Christian, which also plays an important role as far as his morality is concerned. In this video, we will explore this and everything else about Nightcrawler's anatomy. Let's begin, shall we? Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Why does this guy fashion the most peculiar blue skin? In the Marvel Universe, where extraordinary powers abound, Nightcrawler stands out as a creature of darkness and mystery. Kurt Wagner possesses a striking appearance that sets him apart from his comrades. While other mutants may sport fangs or wings, Nightcrawler's devilish charm lies in his blue fur-covered physique. So yes, the blue color is not the color of his skin, but a fine fur that coats his skin. Nightcrawler's luscious blue fur is isn't a fashion statement to put him in the league of mutants like Apocalypse, Mystique, and the Beast. It grants him a rather sneaky advantage. In the shadows, he has the uncanny ability to almost vanish from sight, leaving only his piercing glowing eyes to give him away. As if blending into the shadows like a phantom wasn't cool enough, this unique attribute has its roots in the pages of X-Men history. Thanks to the creative minds of Chris Claremont and Dave Cockrum, Nightcrawler discovered his talent for shadow hopping in X-Men number 103. This power has been tied to his teleportation abilities, which only get enhanced because of his fur. Nightcrawler's fur-covered frame not only grants him the distinction of being part of the exclusive club of blue-skinned X-Men, but also sets him apart as the creature of stealth, which others like Beast lack. Just how many reproductive parts does he have? All superhero universes tend to bring in grand twists and turns in the reality, as if it was some minor plot twist in a movie. And sometimes the theory or rumor that lives on for years ends up becoming canon. One such rumor is about Nightcrawler having reproductive parts that go beyond the norm. It can all be attributed to Chuck Austin, the X-Men writer known for his controversial storyline that pushed the boundaries of mutant mythology. From demonic lineage to potential Antichrist Popedom, Austin has left his indelible mark on Nightcrawler's history. But perhaps the most bizarre contribution is the persistent rumor that Nightcrawler possesses not one, but two man parts. It started from an interview where Austin, who was probably joking, revealed a secret about Nightcrawler that only he knew, drawing a peculiar connection between Nightcrawler's unique digits, two fingers on each hand and two toes on each foot. Austin playfully suggested the possibility of a similar duplication in Nightcrawler Crawler's nether regions. While some dismiss Austin's remark as a jest, the power of perception cannot be underestimated. After all, Nightcrawler himself was long perceived as a demon before it became canon that he indeed hails from the demonic realm. So if the perception persists that Nightcrawler is endowed with uh, double the usual equipment, who's to say that a future X-Men writer won't embrace it as a particularly particular aspect of his mutant anatomy? Does Nightcrawler have any romantic relationships? Can he reproduce? Let's talk about his emotions and feelings. Nightcrawler, the teleporting hero with a heart as big as his fur, has a love life that extends beyond the silver screen. While the movies may have downplayed his romantic side, except for that cringeworthy mystique moment, this tale of the mutant has a different tale in the comics. Kurt Wagner has wooed both humans and mutants, proving that love knows no boundaries. And yes, that includes a rather unconventional relationship with his foster sister, 
monster, but hey, we won't hold that against him. This woman was called Amanda Sefton, and their story began with a classic teenage crush as Kurt pinned for Amanda and hoped for a chance to dance with her at prom. But being the self-conscious mutant that he is, Kurt concealed his furry appearance with a pair of gloves. Of course, things took a dramatic turn when interdimensional monsters crashed the party, forcing Kurt to teleport himself and Amanda to safety. It was then that Kurt, with a mix of trepidation and hope, revealed his true form to Amanda. And to his surprise, she didn't flinch, but instead professed her love for the blue color. Well, there's your silver lining. But that's not all. He has a history with an Avenger. In an alternate reality of Earth-2182, Wanda Maximoff and Nightcrawler embarked on a certain love affair that blossomed into a mutant offspring named Talia Josephine Wagner, who would eventually join the X-Men under the moniker Nocturne. When Nocturne found herself stranded on Earth-616, she formed a deep bond with Nightcrawler of that reality. Clearly, the father-daughter love sustains through universes. The Nightcrawler-Scarlet Witch romance has even made its way into other mutant iterations. In the animated series Wolverine and the X-Men, Kurt and Wanda once again find themselves sharing some sexual tension and end up sharing a kiss in the 15th episode. How useful is his tail? Among a streak of strange abilities, Nightcrawler's tail is something extra that sets him apart from the rest. Apart from being something that adds to his devilish fashion statement, it in itself is a force to be reckoned with. With the strength to support his own body weight, and lift a grown man off the ground, Nightcrawler's tail is like a super-powered grappling hook. Additionally, Nightcrawler's got some serious balance skills thanks to his tail, helping him pull off jaw-dropping aerial acrobatics that would leave your average superhero green with envy. Was that a Hulk reference? Yes, no, I'll let you decide. And when it comes to combat, he's got some sneaky tricks up his sleeve, or rather, up his tail. He can wrap it around his enemies, tying them up like a pro, or even use it to strike his opponents with swift and unexpected strikes. It's as nimble as a cat's and can be used as a weapon, slicing through the air like a sword or delivering a solid thwack like a blunt object. So this guy can literally perform some tail end action. Why does he have flexible bones? This teleportation extraordinaire has a bone structure that puts even the most skilled contortionist to shame. With the ability to maintain a crouched position for extended periods and perform jaw-dropping feats of acrobatics, Nightcrawler's spine remains unharmed thanks to his unique bone structure. And no, he's not made out of rubber, it's just his bendable bones. But it's not just about being bendy for the sake of it. Nightcrawler's agility is honed through years of circus training and intense danger room drills. He's a master of the nimble arts, twisting and turning with a finesse that shook his opponents. But that's not all. His bones also give him a considerable stealth factor. Nightcrawler's flexible bones allow him to squeeze into tight spaces, becoming a shadowy phantom where others would be stuck. Combine that with his wall clinging skills and you've got a stealthy superhero who can slip in and out of places like Batman in the depths of Gotham's Dark Nights. How exactly does he teleport? It was in X-Men Evolution that the truth about Nightcrawler's teleportation emerged. In the episode titled Shadow Dance, Forge invented a device granting Nightcrawler the power to teleport beyond his usual two mile limit. Little did our teleporting hero know that his jumps took him through a perilous dimension inhabited by dinosaur-like creatures. But there's a more detailed explanation hidden away in the comics. Marvel Comics picked up the baton with the controversial Draco storyline, penned by the daring Chuck Austin. In the comic, it is revealed that Nightcrawler's true father is none other than Azazel, a demon hailing from the fiery brimstone dimension. Azazel reveals that Nightcrawler and his dimension brethren traverse the brimstone dimension whenever they use their powers. But wait, there's more. And now let's delve into the mechanics of Nightcrawler's teleportation prowess. It's a mind-bending journey as he displaces himself into the brimstone dimension, dances through it, and then gracefully returns to his original dimension as a designated distance. All this occurs in the blink of an eye, leaving Nightcrawler unaware of his interdimensional travels. But how does he navigate this chaotic realm? It's an instinctive sense, an innate direction-finding prowess that guides him effortlessly. No, it's not some psychic power, but a mysterious biochemical, biophysical reaction that he triggers with his remarkable mind. It's similar to migratory birds and fish that use the electromagnetic field of the Earth to reach their destination. However, the teleportation is in a walk in the park for Nightcrawler. The longer the distance, the harder the jump. Furthermore, Nightcrawler arrives with the same velocity he teleported with, so he can't cheat gravity by teleporting himself to safety mid-fall. 
How far can Nightcrawler teleport? When it comes to leaping across vast distances, our Blue Mutant faces certain challenges. Teleporting along the Earth's magnetic field lines from north to south is a breeze for him, but going against the grain east to west, well, that's a whole different ball game. Still under optimal conditions, Nightcrawler can whisk himself some two miles east to west and three miles north to south. However, going vertical is where things get riskier for him. Battling against the combined forces of electromagnetism and gravity, our teleporter has to push his physical limits. He once soared one mile upwards, but it exhausted him quite a bit. But of course, there have been multiple comics where these limits have been breached manifolds. Even in weakened and near-death states, Nightcrawler once disappeared in Las Vegas and appeared in San Francisco, a whopping 585 miles. He transported himself and the mutant, Hope. But that's not all. Nightcrawler upped his game, ditching the bamfs and stretching his teleportation abilities to new limits when he warped a staggering 7,853 miles from Dubai to the Savage Land in Antarctica. Antarctica, and then casually zipped 2,936 miles from Prague to Alcazar in Egypt, with the aid of psionic coordinates skillfully implanted into his mind. Nightcrawler effortlessly jumped from Krakoa, a sentient island in the middle of the Pacific, to the Rub al Khalil in Saudi Arabia. So, quite clearly, Nightcrawler can easily travel between continents. Well, not so easily, but he can. Having said that, his teleportation abilities are more of a weak sauce when you compare them with another Apex teleporter from Marvel, Blink. Now this girl can not only teleport herself between the moon and Earth, but can also force others to teleport such huge distances all without having to touch them. So even if Juggernaut was charging at her with her Berserker Rage and full speed, she could just throw him into the emptiness of space and boom, the problem solved or at least gone. Does he have night vision? Nightcrawler's golden and glowing eyes are more than just a feature that artists use to make him look intimidating. So essentially, there's more to these eyes than meets, well, <laughs> the eye. Nightcrawler's ocular wonders come with enhanced night vision. Our dashing mutant has remarked that darkness is like high noon to him. So how can he see clearer than the summer's day, or even in pitch black depths? Well, it seems Kurt's connection to the brimstone dimension and his dear old dad, Azazel, has left a lasting impact on his mutant physique. Physiology. Just like his demonic father, Kurt boasts those captivating yellow eyes, a telltale sign of their shared abilities and characteristics. Is he immortal? Nightcrawler has had a few deadly experiences, and quite literally so. It all started with a sacrificial act of heroism. Kurt, our devout Catholic mutant, gave his all to save the special child known as Hope Summers, a mutant of great value and powers. With Bastion hot on their heels, Kurt's efforts led to his death with a piercing arm through Kurt's chest. Yet, he managed to whisk Hope away to safety before succumbing to his injury. Naturally, this ultimate act of selflessness brought him to heaven However, there's no rest for the wicked, or in this case, the virtuous. In heaven, Kurt was visited by his less than stellar dad, Azazel. Azazel managed to launch an attack on heaven itself, disrupting Kurt's celestial peace. In order to stop this assault, Kurt made a deal with the devil, so to speak. He gave up his eternal rest in heaven and allowed himself to be resurrected, trading his soul for immortality, which basically made him someone who left heaven on their own accord, and thereby become a soulless immortal. But that's not the end of Nightcrawler's wild ride through life and death. In another resurrection story, Kurt found himself caught between the realms in a wave station. There, he encountered his longtime love, Amanda Sefton, who reminded him of his unfinished business on Earth. With a renewed sense of purpose, Nightcrawler embraced the gift of life once more, only to realize that death had given him a newfound appreciation for the wonders of existence. And as if two resurrections weren't enough, Nightcrawler found himself on another otherworldly journey in the house of X. Alongside his mutant comrades, he faced Mother Mold Sentinel, and as always, he sacrificed himself for the greater good. But the X-Men used the resurrection protocols of Krakoa, and thanks to it, Nightcrawler returned from the Abyss. This guy basically used death as an intermission where he could charge himself up for the next act. What are his weaknesses? Nightcrawler may possess extraordinary abilities, but let's not forget that he's still vulnerable to the pitfalls of human frailty. Diseases and injuries can strike our hero just like any ordinary mere mortal soul. Here's the kicker. Being a Nafm, Angel's Blood, the stuff that works wonders for everyone else actually adds insult to his injuries. So while Nightcrawler can teleport and dazzle us with his agility, he's not invincible. So basically, if its superheroes have their Achilles healing, why not? When Kryptonite can kill Superman, everyone else is bound to have weaknesses. 
Marvelous Verdict. In conclusion, delving into Nightcrawler's anatomy reveals a fascinating blend of mutant striking appearance with blue skin, pointed ears, fangs, and a tail to his teleportation powers rooted in the brimstone dimension. Nightcrawler is a unique and captivating character. Despite his physical attributes and extraordinary powers, he remains vulnerable to injury and illness. Through his journey from a rejected outcast to a heroic member of the X-Men, Nightcrawler's story exemplifies resilience and the power of embracing one's true self. And that's more or less the reason why he became a fan favorite almost as soon as he was introduced. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>